My name is Dennis White. I produce under the name Latroit. We're in North Hollywood, California, and I keep my Grammy in my home, in my living room, on my piano. I took some time to figure out where to put it, to be honest. I tried it in the studio. No, right? Because then every, that's a lot for every dumb idea I have to try to live up to. I took it back there a couple of times for sessions with people I thought might be difficult that I just wanted to flex a little bit. <clears throat> Could you hand me the Kleenex? It's behind the Grammy. Yeah, thanks. Uh, but I do zero work in here. These are just um, thoughts and emotions and pure music for the sake of that. So I wanted it to live in that corner for that reason. And that's how having it here and playing in front of it, that's how I've been able to emotionally connect to it. I started to make some music and some people heard it and then I made more music and then some more people heard it. And then I was asked by Jason Bentley to remix the Depeche Mode project. And I had applied a sound, like sort of a sonic DNA that I had developed for the project and then applied it to this. And I did that remix and we didn't have any expectations of it all. And then uh, Jason very early in the morning called to tell me that it had been nominated and that, that took a while to wrap my head around. Leighton James and Christian Strigley. Fortet, Dennis White. And the Grammy goes to Dennis White for You Move. You go out there and he tells you how to hold it, which totally threw me off because I'm practicing in my head. And he's like, hold it like this. I'm like, wait, what? Hold it like this, you say. Thank you very much. I'm on stage with Paul Schaefer. Yeah. Mr. Schaefer. Congratulations. I'm the most dangerous band. I grew up watching you guys. You know I can't it. believe this. We're here for you. Thank Thanks, you, Paul. Paul. I appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't prepare anything. There was no way I was going to win this. I should say that this award is a testament to the enduring legacy of Depeche Mode. I'm going to rip off a couple other speeches real quick. I got to know we got to keep this tight. Jack Benny said, under similar circumstances, one time he said, Well, I might not deserve this, but I have arthritis, and I don't deserve that either. David Letterman, and you guys were there, said under similar circumstances, and it was amazing. I'm just gonna bite him right now. I'm here because hundreds of people over decades of time helped me. That's true. This is what happens when we help each other. This is why we have to help each other. Good things happen. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. The first Grammy I got, I ate. My mom made a Grammy cake. So she made this cake uh, for Christmas and it was delicious, so I ate my first Grammy. Thanks, Mom. But my mom, just to make sure I walked away with something, uh, made me my own nomination. Thanks, Mom. Mom had me covered. The neatest thing about being nominated and then winning, honestly, was to see how much it meant to so many other people that I had known, my friends and my family. Like, to, to see how, it, then it really connected with me, how invested, how lucky I was that I had so many people, my friends and my family, who had been invested in my life and in my career and how much it meant to them. That was a powerful thing. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is g Easy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.